Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. All right, we're here at NAB 2013, and obviously we want to bring you cool and innovative products, and we really think this one is one of them. Behind me here is a, a little monitor, and there's a couple of them from Convergent Design, and I have John Shell here. He's one of the design engineers. He's going to tell us a little bit about some of the new products that they have. John? So we're uh, introducing uh, the Odyssey to, at uh, this year's NAB. The Odyssey is a OLED monitor. It's 1280 by 800. It's uh, very crisp, clear, has very deep blacks, as OLED does. Uh, this monitor is a bit unique in that it has all of the monitoring functions you would expect from a professional monitor, including uh, focus assist, waveform, histogram. It has the uh, false colors, zebras, horizon indicator. If you're gonna do some steady cam work, it has 3D user loadable LUTs, one-to-one uh, -one pixels, zooms, all the things you kind of would expect. It has 3G inputs. You can do 1080p 60, 422, 444, everything. And then, uh, after you buy it, if you uh, need a recorder, you can go to our website, get an activation key, and it turns into a recorder of a whole bunch of different various options. Uh, we can do uh, DNX HD, another codec I can't announce, but you know, uh, we can do a bunch of different RAW formats. We can do Airy RAW, uh, Canon RAW, 4K uh, RAW. We can do Sony FS700 2K RAW up to 240 frames a second. We can do 4K support from the FS700. Uh, we can do quad stream recording of ISO'd individual 1080p streams on this unit uh, with the Odyssey 7Q, which is a superset of the Odyssey 7. We view all four monitors simultane uh, the, uh, simultaneously as well. The, uh, the unit has two built-in SSD slots, two and a half inch. We offer four, 240, 480, and 960 gig drives. Uh, these drives are server grade, very highly reliable. Uh, they're very, very fast. We have very inexpensive uh, USB 3 and Thunderbolt transfer stations available as well. Uh, we, uh, we come from a recorder background, so we cover that stuff very well, very reliably. We're used on productions every single day all around the world. Uh, the display, the monitor, and recorder is very light and low power, about a pound and a half. Uh, it uses eight watts of power. So we're one of the lowest power recorders and monitors that you'll find anywhere. Uh, it uses about 12 to 15 watts while recording, depending on the mode. It has a 10 to 34 volt input, so you can slap any battery on it. Uh, it has reverse and hot over voltage protection uh, built into the unit. Um, as, as external recorders, we've learned how people can destroy things and break things, and we've We've tried to work around everything we can possibly think of to avoid that kind of thing. Uh, we have a, uh, a Bluetooth remote built into the unit. You can remote control everything so that if you're shooting in the field, you can change uh, monitoring functions on the display without having to touch it and bump the camera. So it's very complete, very full featured, uh, very uh, extendable in terms of what you want to be able to do with it. Uh, it will be available in July. Now, what are the, in, the inputs and outputs? Because that's what everybody's going to ask. What are the inputs and output uh, connectors on it? So the Odyssey 7 has two 3G SDI inputs and outputs, HDMI input and output capable of 1080p60. The Odyssey 7Q has two SDI inputs, uh, two bidirectional 3G SDI, and two uh, SD, 3G SDI outputs. So that's what enables us to do the quad stream uh, recording in the 7Q. Uh, they both also have LTC I.O. Uh, so that you can sync up multiple units with the same uh, time code as well. And then what are the price points of the two versions? So the Odyssey 7 is $12.95 and the 7Q is $22.95. In May we'll be announcing the pricing of the uh, a la carte codec options. We're a la carting it because uh, there's no reason that if you're only going to do DNX that you need to be paying for uncompressed support or airy raw support. So we're separating everything out. And, and one thing that enables us to do is a rented codec option. So if you have a production that you want to go use an airy Alexa and record airy raw, 
and you have one of these, you can just buy in 24 hour units access to that Airy Raw recording uh, in your monitor. And uh, it will be a very reasonable rate, very easy to afford, no need to amortize the cost over multiple projects. If you're only going to do it once, you might as well just rent it. It's going to be a lot cheaper. And you said these are going to be available when? In uh, July. All right, cool. And what's the website that people can go to for more information? Our website is convergent-design.com. It's really something you need to look at. Thanks a lot, John. Thank you very much, guys.